Hey there folks, in this video I'll be putting to test how efficient public transportation is after nightfall in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia. I'll be taking the light rapid transit, which is more commonly known as the LRT, from Subang Jaya all the way to downtown Kuala Lumpur. There were a few mishaps during my journey, but I was prepared for an adventure so I wasn't caught off guard. The train ride definitely took much longer than I expected, but keep in mind that it was also 10 times more affordable than taking a taxi. So if you're planning to visit KL, I hope you enjoyed watching my experience and learn a few things along the way as well. With that being said, I hope you stick around and please enjoy the video. What's up ladies and gents? This is going to be a quick vlog on how safe transportation is in Kuala Lumpur at night. I already have a video of me going during the day. I was like, why not make one at night? It's already past 9 p.m. I have to go all the way to downtown KL to check in. Uh, probably gonna take me over an hour. So let's see how this experience is. Raw and uncut. What's up, brother? Nighttime experience. I have my backpack, got my luggage. Don't forget the umbrella out here. Rain can come any moment. Let's go ahead and see how KL transportation is at night. So just want to show you guys, it is 9.14 p.m. Uh, luckily, they still have the escalators working at this hour, at least at this station. So I am right here and I want to get all the way here and here KL Central is where I will switch to another train I believe it's the number 8 train and that one goes all throughout downtown so it looks like that's platform 1 let's go to platform 1 I mean there's really nobody here right now uh, it's pretty empty but we are quite a ways from downtown so I'm sure the closer we get the more crowded the train will get and the train is already here wow I didn't even have to wait so I guess let's hop on oh it's chilly in here yeah that's one thing that uh, even some of the locals have told me that it's really cold inside the uh, the train or whatever the public transit so maybe take a hoodie with you jacket if you want but the thing is then outside is humid and hot at any hour so I just feel like you know going in the hot and then cold and back and forth that's how you get sick but I'm cool right now though I forgot to mention in this video but I have in my other you definitely want to get a touch and go card or download it on your phone and this will allow you to go through pretty much all public transit in KL. It's very, very affordable. So try to get one of these if you can or download it on your phone and be free to go all around KL. they just made everyone get off of the train I don't even know why I don't know if it was like maintenance or something but now we have a bunch of people just waiting for the next train um, that's kind of sucks <laughs> so that's the train that I was on and we are everyone was forced to get off there was uh, water leaking too so I don't know maybe if, if it's maintenance or whatnot but anyways I guess we'll wait for the next one and uh, Hopefully it's not too crowded because I had a good seat and I got all this luggage and I still got a bunch of stops to go. Man, uh, <laughs> that's unfortunate. When I went during the day, I mean, it was really efficient. So this is kind of a bad start to go on that uh, nighttime travel in KL. <laughs> yep, this one is way more packed. But... I ain't got no choice but to get on. You know what I just realized? I left my damn umbrella on the other train since we were all rushed to get off. Man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
So I just got off the station, KL Central. There are many different routes you can basically interchange to. And I mean, you can see it's probably one of the biggest stations here. Anyways, I asked the uh, cop up there, it's a police officer right there, what I can do about the, um, the uh, left and the other train since we were rushed off. And I'm gonna go ahead and ask the counter, the help desk, and see if they they can get it back to me. If not, uh, oh well, I'll take the loss. Shouldn't be that expensive anyways. So the help desk is right there. And I'm just gonna ask them real quick what I can do for that umbrella. So I'm asking, let's see what happens. Uh-huh. Okay. Okay, let me write it down right now. All right, so I was told that I gotta go to NU Central and then completely switch stations, get to the station that I'm heading to. I still got 86. So that entire ride cost less than four ringgit. And I made it from the outskirts of Subang Jaya to KL Central, which is basically close to downtown Kuala Lumpur. Anyways, this is KL Central. I believe you could take so many trains from here and go even to the airport but uh, I'm not here for that today so let's go and find that other station so I believe I gotta get there the monorail and it's telling me to go this way just like the uh, lady at the counter was telling me so I'm gonna go ahead and follow that Monorail is that way. It's a huge mall though. So it's already 1018. So it's been over an hour that I've been traveling. But I mean, this is the uh, most affordable form of transport out here. So if you're trying to save some money, this is the best way. So this is telling me to go outside in order to get to the monorail and I believe it's somewhere here so let's see wow it is humid out here let me find out hello um, is this the monorail yeah. that way okay Medan Tanku yeah yeah okay thank you You know what, the people working at the help desks, very helpful people, man. And I'm happy about that. Wow, man. We are definitely in like a lively spot though already. If I didn't have my luggage, I'll definitely go out and check it out, but we gotta go check in. So let me continue heading out. So this is the monorail. And this should basically take me all around the downtown KL, including my Airbnb. There you go. Well, we missed that one, but usually they're pretty quick. And I like how they have these barriers to keep people from pushing someone else or just hopping there, you know? Well, I guess not, not here though. <laughs> But anyways, let's wait for this other train. Train frequency every 10 minutes, not bad. So we'll just wait for that and see how efficient this monorail is at night. I already mentioned this in my other video, but every station is gonna have this map. So this map is very useful in helping you where to go. If you have to interchange to another station, anything like that, you know? And for me, I had to basically, I took this line all the way up right here and I had an interchange right here so I'm going to pretty much go all the way up here so from one end to the other end and here comes my train 
There's a bunch of people in there, but I believe this is the last stop, so they all should be getting off. There you go. Different style of train. Not bad. And, um, you know, this train basically goes all throughout, like, a lot of the main sites. I mean, there's Bukit Bintang, which a lot of people go and hang out. Um, I think one of those stations is actually not too far from KLCC, the Petronas Tower. Getting a spot near this train or the monorail is actually not a bad idea. Actually, getting a spot next to KL Central is not a bad idea because from KL Central, you can pretty much go anywhere. So after almost, what, like an hour and 40 minutes, <laughs> Man, I'm, I might have to reconsider this. I think I might just take like a taxi or grab next time, but I just wanted to test it out for the experience. But at the station that I was supposed to come, however, since they rushed me off, I left my damn umbrella and it is absolutely pouring outside. Look at that. I don't think you can tell on the camera, but it's, it's coming down right now, man. Um, yeah, and this station doesn't have escalators. <laughs> but it is what it is. You got to make the best of your situation. So let's see what I can do to get to my Airbnb. I'm just about to exit this station, but just want to take note. It's almost 11 p.m. and you still got people working in the station. So just keep in mind that you will have help as long as station is open. I think these run until midnight. So I started off with 90 ringgit and now I'm at 83.60. So not even a full 10 ringgit to come that far. And now we're in downtown where it is pouring. All right, y'all, I have to give in. I cannot walk in this rain and I don't have an umbrella. So I have a grab coming. It's only five ring it. Basically take me around the block and I'm good to go. Hope my video gave you guys some insight on how to, how safe it is and how it is to travel at night on uh, KL transportation. And uh, thanks for tuning in. Peace. All right, folks, if you stuck around this long, I truly appreciate your time and support. I hope you all enjoyed this video and please don't forget to check out my other videos as well. Also, please don't forget to like and subscribe so I can continue making more content like this. Once again, thank you and take care.